Hi, I'm Jake. And now we will make this effect. But first, I want to talk about this video sponsor, Skillshare. I've been already on Skillshare, I was learning about video editing and writing, because these are always was my interests. I even made one class of my own on VFX for beginners. This is why I'm happy to talk about Skillshare. What I love about Skillshare is that all knowledge you get is easy to understand and in form of short simple videos. I personally would recommend iPhone filmmaking. Create cinematic video with your phone. You'll learn a bunch of tips and tricks, as also run through different apps which will help you make cool videos. What is great about Skillshare that is online learning community, which offers thousands of inspiring classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, video editing, freelancing and more. Also, the premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes from professionals working in their fields, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do work you really enjoy. Also, it's extremely affordable. Annual subscription is less than $10 a month. But luckily for viewers of my channel, first thousand of people will get two months absolutely for free. Just by using my link in description below to this video. This tutorial is pretty similar to previous one, which I have already on my channel. But in this one we will use pretty unique techniques. So let's import our footage, go to file, import, file. I include in description below footage on which you can practice on. It's same as in previous tutorial, but it will work fine. So let's click import. By left mouse clicking and dragging here or here on timeline or on this icon, you will create new composition with exact same properties as this video. So let's drop it here. And as you can see, we have this cutout footage. To learn how to cut out yourself like this, you can watch this video by clicking on this information icon in top right corner of your screen. There I show three ways of how you can cut out yourself using green screen or without blue screen or green screen. Let's also drag and drop some background. I'll cut this video to this moment and right mouse click to trim come to work area. So first of all, we need to pre-compose video with ourselves. You can right mouse click it and select pre-compose. Let's move all attributes and name it myself and click OK. Now let's create an adjustment layer. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. We can disable this layer for now. We will use as a texture for our effect. So to disable, click on this eyeball icon here. And here in effects and presets panel, if you cannot see this panel, you can enable it here from window, effects and presets. You can enable pretty much any panel from this software. So now we are going to use effect called displacement map. Left mouse click and drag onto our adjustment layer and release it. And now as displacement map layer, we need to choose our myself layer. And here we will play around with these values. We also need to click on this checkbox wrap pixel around. So we would cover all missing parts. And difference between invisible man effect and this effect that we need to have really big values. So it would look more like a chrome or metal look. I already played around with these values with these channels. And I think luminance works best. So I'll set to luminance. Also, I like to add some blur. You can use fast blur or Gaussian blur. I'll use fast blur. And drop just above displacement map. Like this. And now by changing this value to 20, we can reduce amount of details. We also need to click on this checkbox repeat edge pixels. It looks pretty dark, so we can change this value a bit. I like to change it so we would have some highlights like this. I've changed my value to 3300. It really depends on your footage. And just change these values to get as much of these cool highlights as you can. Because in this way it really does look like a metal. We can also open myself comp and apply blur on our original footage. And set to a really low value. I'll set mine to 7 and also click on this checkbox here. Let's preview. As you can see, it reduces amount of details. You can just jump between these two comps and play with this value to get the result which you want. Maybe 5 is good. We can also add some curves. Left mouse click and drag here. 
And also by dragging this bottom point, we can also completely change the look of our result. And now we need to pre-compose all of these layers. Just left mouse click and select them all. Then right mouse click and click pre-compose. Let's call it metal effect and click OK. Also we can right mouse click here and go to composition settings and we'll name it this composition as main composition. So it would be easier to navigate. So now we have this effect, but as you can see, we have blurred out our background. So let's cut out ourselves. We can use my self footage again. For this, we need to duplicate my self composition, select it and go to edit, duplicate and press return on keyboard to rename it. This one we will call myself clear. Let's drag and drop into our main composition. And also we need to open it and select it and go to effect, remove all. This is why we called myself clear because we just deleted all effects in it. Let's go back to our main composition and use it as alpha matte. So for this, we need to check alpha matte here. If you cannot see this track matte, you need to click on this toggle switches. So let's choose alpha matte. And now as you can see, we have all effect only applied to myself. Let's drag and drop background once again into our main composition. And now I want to add animation like T800 transforms from metal to a real person. So for this, we need to drop myself clear composition into main composition. Let's also duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate. And now this top layer we will use as a mat. But instead of using alpha like we did before, we will use brightness value of this layer. It means that this layer below will reveal itself in bright spots of this image. Go and set to luma mat. And if we solo this layer to see what's going on, you can see that luma mat is taking this bright value of the face and makes this footage visible in these spots, where was the brightest spots of this layer. So if I enable it, so you can see this is bright spots and here in dark spots, it is completely gone. So we will use exposure effect here under color correction, choose exposure and drop on this myself clear layer. Offset I'll set to minus 0.5 so we would not see anything. So now we are going to animate this exposure value. For this we need to set our time cursor to beginning and click here on this stopwatch. It will create a keyframe. Just press U on keyboard to see it. Keyframe is basically the point in time which remembers the value of certain property, like exposure. So here we set to 0. And by the end, we can set to really high value. So as you can see, we already have some transition. And if I unsolo this layer to see all effect, you can see that we have this kind of transition. I really don't like this look because it's a bit boring because we already reveal ourselves, our face and then just close and this is like most boring part. So to change it a bit, we can apply invert effect, left mouse click and drag above exposure and now as you can see it starts with my jacket and finally disappears on my face which I think looks more interesting. But let's tweak it a bit to, so it would look much better. First of all, I'm going to use Fast Blur. I'll set it to 11. Also, you may have noticed that our animation is going too fast. So let's select this first keyframe of exposure and press F9 on keyboard. It will make animation start slower and a bit faster at the end. Also, you can see that animation already ended by the value of 4. So let's change this keyframe to a 4. Just make sure that your time cursor on this keyframe and set it to 4. And now as you can see our animation runs a lot slower. Let's also apply some curve effect. With this curve effect we can refine a bit this look. Just make curve like this. As you can see now it really looks like a metal. But we have left with this final problem. Now we have two stages of this transition where this metal disappears. And you still have some solid here, which looks weird. And here we will use a technique which we didn't use in previous tutorial. So if we enable this layer, you can see that we have few colors. And our goal is to have just black and white image. 
So now we need to add effect called change to color. Drag and drop onto our footage here. Select one of the colors which you have on your footage and adjust this change value to hue and lightness. In this way we can set this not only to a certain color but also to a lightness value. We need just the white color. We can also apply this effect one more time. And now we need to get rid of this teal color. Also set to hue and lightness. Adjust this value of hue to get rid of these lines here. Let's up this value. So now as you can see we have this cool transition without that second layer on our face. Let's preview this. And now it's a great time to support my channel by one of the links in the description below. Or just subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment because I really need some engagement on this channel. Also in the future I want to make one video a week where I just talk with you because I want to know more about you and connect with you a bit more. Tell me in comment section below what you think about this idea. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.